all you can do with those kinds of strategies because there's too many factors that are working against you. Uh, for instance, a very, very common problem I'm sure you run across in your practice is SIBO is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and thereby endotoxemia, meaning there's wild overgrowth of fecal microbial species because of our overexposure to antibiotics and other factors that starts in the colon, these overproliferated fecal microbes then ascend into the 24 feet of small intestine. And the small intestine is not accustomed to this. It's very permeable by design because that's where we're supposed to absorb nutrients like amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. But when you have the infestation or colonization of the small intestine by fecal microbes, uh, it's not equipped to deal with it. It increases the permeability even more. And when those microbes, trillions of them, die, they release their toxic compounds, but specifically components of their cell wall, endotoxin. And that endotoxin is released into the intestines and then into the bloodstream, a process called endotoxemia. And we know with good evidence that endotoxemia is a major uh, uh, factor that damages uh, muscle.